the way that the, the bridge sections come in, they come in five pieces. So we delivered uh, four pieces to site, welded the four pieces together to make two pieces, and uh, the final piece come today. So, yep, five pieces makes into three, into the bridge you can see behind us. It's where strategically we have to put the segments here on site because we're so confined with space, you've got to be, you not only got to be able to put it somewhere where you can build it, but also put it somewhere where we can pick it up. You know, if I, if I build it in the wrong spot, then the cranes are out of radius, and so there's a lot of planning and where it has to be set so that it can suit the cranes on the day when we come in to pick them up. One of the main challenges was uh, defining the, the right geometry because at the end of the day we need to accommodate both existing traffic but also the, the future configuration of the road because perhaps in the future there is going to be a lane there or existing conditions there is a lane there. And once we had the, the right geometry, the structural performance of the bridge was also quite a bit challenged, trying to find something that was light enough to ease the construction process, but also not too light because uh, that would be too flexible and in terms of uh, vibrations, we need to uh, scratch our heads a bit of it and, and, and try to find some um, unusual solutions. This particular bridge is, is a milestone. It's, it's kind of the first significant structure that we're building here. It's given everyone a little bit of a boost in, in the fact that we can actually see things happening now. The job itself has still got a long way to go, but this is kind of like the first real physical thing that we've got done. Um, people can see a bit of earthworks happening, things like that, but the structure, particularly one as significant as this, is something that everyone can look at and say, yeah, we're starting to make some inroads on the job now. The work's not in the lift, the work's in the planning. You know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of, hell of a lot of planning goes into all of this, and as you saw, when we got ready to do the lift, the lift takes an hour. Yeah. But uh, many, many weeks of, of planning and checking, and you just got to make sure that everything's right on the day when you get out here, so there's no, nothing that's going to surprise you. Yeah. I came here mid-February to start planning this bridge here, and we're now, what, nearly at the end of April. You know, this is a big thing to close a, 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 a major road down in, you know, in this area. Um, but, you know, to close it down overnight, it's not too bad. But if we run into the daylight and we're nowhere near finished, well, then we're going to be destroyed. It's been a pretty huge uh, logistical exercise, this. Closing Warringah Road at any time is not something that you do lightly. We've had 41 traffic controllers spread between DY, Brookvale and Chatswood. We've had 14 police, six patrol cars, uh, trying to keep that traffic under control as well. We're given a certain time frame, we can only be on the road for 13 hours. Well, it's such an odd shape to cart, and you've got to make sure you get the, the centre of gravity right, otherwise you could fall off the truck one way or the other. We're on time at the moment. Just got to try and get it in the air by about 1 o'clock and we'll be on time. So the other challenge, of course, is just physically fitting these two 70, 80 tonne girders together with millimetre accuracy. The tolerances are very tight and that in itself is a challenge. The guys have got their timetables and they're watching them very closely. The bolts are taking a little longer than we'd hoped, but we're still on track to get the road open by nine o'clock in the morning. Right, I mean, coming down easy, bud. I can move it east-west. Hold that, mate. Now that it's locked in here, I can't move it north-south, so we're happy with that in where it is, north-south. We've just got to get it over the bearing plate and then see where it's got to go and then we just move it over and then lock it down. We're about half an hour over it at the moment, but if we can get this welding done in good time, in an hour, then I can let that end down and lock it down and try and get rid of the cranes by about 6.30. The local community, the, um, the travelling public, have been waiting for a long time for something like this to eventuate. This bridge here in particular is a bit of a gateway structure, being it's curved, it's quite architectural, and it's something that people can actually see now and get a feel for that the, the job is happening and it's going to look something pretty spectacular at the end of the day. Big effort from everybody. Great team, great team. You know, there's been a lot of, a lot of stuff in the background to make this happen. Knowing that uh, we have the, the whole team working all together, trying to bring the, the idea, something that has been captured in a drawing, to bring that idea to reality, feels really good. Yeah, we're real happy, mate. So uh, It's up there, it's nice and safe. Now we've just got a couple of hours to get rid of these cranes to maintain our timetable. <laughs>